Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, the Governor of AQT State and Chairman of the Governor's Forum, who is present uh, here today, uh, Honorable Ministers, the Honorable Minister for Mines and Steel and the Honorable Minister of State for Mines and Steel, uh, the Managing Director and the entire team of uh, the Dukia Gold Project, and uh, the Managing Director of the Heritage Bank. Uh, several other distinguished guests who are here today, um, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me apologize for joining you late. Uh, I didn't know that uh, traffic was even possible on these uh, online type meetings as well. I mean, I, we have had uh, quite a day, a couple of clashes here and there. So I'm uh, extremely sorry for uh, coming in late. But this is such a special occasion, and I think it's, uh, it's absolutely important that the federal government uh, shows its full support and appreciation for the great work uh, that has been done and the commencement of uh, what I am sure uh, is going to be a landmark opportunity, not just for Nigeria, uh, but also uh, for West Africa and indeed uh, our entire region. The, the Dukia Gold and uh, Precious Metals Refinery project was championed by the High Commissions of Nigeria and Canada and has been several years in the making. I am told almost about uh, seven years uh, in the making. And we all know already that Nigeria has a potential reserve of almost 200 million ounces of gold. And of course, uh, most of this had not uh, previously been uh, exploited. So in, in many senses, uh, uh, we've had these reserves, we've had these opportunities, but they were all waiting, but they were waiting for refining uh, opportunities such as we have today. So what we are looking at here is an extremely valuable new source of trade, of jobs, and of foreign exchange. The project will create primary employment for local artisanal miners and mining cooperatives, and also across the entire solid minerals value chain. Off-take agreements between Dukia Gold and local mining communities and owners of recyclable gold will be a useful provider of jobs in our post-COVID uh, economy. The positive multiplier is expected to extend even further as the Dukia Gold Project will encourage the emergence of smaller scale mining companies who will now have a transparent and welcoming market for their mined gold and precious metals. This will again create jobs, unleash economic opportunities, especially in the mining communities. Within this project, we are also commissioning the nationwide Dukia Heritage Bank Gold and Precious Metals buying centers. This is part of a valuable uh, private sector uh, collection uh, opportunity, which, uh, which uh, we, we have also, which is also coming on with this project. Now the, the, uh, the, the Dukia Heritage Bank Gold and Precious Metals buying centers, I, I personally think uh, is a very important part of this project because is a, it provides a sustainable way for Nigerians to exchange their gold jewelry and other precious items for cash. This system of exchange also helps to encourage a culture of recycling. It will also serve as a complementary source for the raw materials needed for the Dukia Gold and Precious Metals Refining Company. The buying, the buying centers will also enable the responsible management of some of the electronic waste that will uh, be produced. As much as possible, the federal government will continue to support and will continue to ensure that uh, our policies support this sector and support projects uh, such as, uh, as this one that we're launching today. Some of these policies are already in the pipeline and I'm sure that the ministers have already shared their thoughts on this and some of the uh, planned uh, ideas and policies with you. I'd also like to commend the Heritage Bank for their invaluable support for this project and also for uh, gold mining production, refining and trading in Nigeria. Again, I must commend the management of uh, the 
of, of this project, of the Dukia Go project. I think that this is very innovative. Uh, it, is the, it is the sort of project that we expect, that like we want at this time. It's a sort of project that we think will contribute positively, not just to our economic growth, but to uh, some of the groundbreaking, uh, some of the groundbreaking ideas and programs that uh, this administration uh, is trying to put on screen, especially as we renew uh, our, our economic direction and as we refocus our economic direction. I must also commend the efforts of the Honorable Ministers of Mines and Steel, the Honorable Minister and uh, the Honorable Minister of State, uh, and also the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the role that they've played in ensuring that uh, this has come to be. I must also commend, of course, the High Commissioners of uh, uh, Nigeria in Canada and the United Kingdom and all their foreign missions for providing the enabling environment and support for the actualization of this project. Once again, it's my very special pleasure to be here and to celebrate with you all as stakeholders on this launch of the Dukia Gold project. Uh, it is therefore my very special pleasure and privilege to officially commission uh, this project, the Dukia Gold uh, project. Thank you very much. God bless you.